go, go see! We'll make them later, but first, let's start with fluffy marshmallow sheets. Their bodies will be made from chocolate cupcakes. We need butter, sugar, and vanilla extract. We're going to stir all of them together really well until we get a perfect fluffy mix. Sue, I've been shepherding some eggs here! Let's crack them one by one. Try not to get any eggshell into the mix. Now let's make the batter fluffy again! Mixer, make a huge whoosh! Freshly made buttermilk right from the slime farm! Thank you! <laughs> I guess slimes can do anything. Let's add our buttermilk into the bowl. Then we'll make another round of Shake Shake! <laughs> Sammy, use the whisk for this! Guys, we'll let Sam do some mixing. In the meantime, let's prepare the dry ingredients. Here are flour, baking powder, and some cocoa. I'll show you a real Shake Shake this time! Holy cannoli! That was something! Now we can sift the dry ingredients into the bowl with the batter. Be careful at this stage, guys, or ask an adult to help. I'm dancing in the rain and singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. Hey, Sammy, bring a cupcake pan here. The batter is almost done. We'll have a whole block of sheep! What a day! Guys, heat an oven up to 180 degrees Celsius and charge the pan there for 25 minutes. I'll deal with that! And you, make the wool! Sure! The wool is gonna be made of two main parts. Creamy base and fluffy marshmallow topping. We're gonna start with the base. The main thing here is to mix everything properly. Here we have some cream. Now goes the whipped cream and then vanilla sugar. When you're done, let this mixture cool down for a bit. My part is more fun! I'm gonna separate marshmallows! Pink to the right, white to the left. <laughs> Sammy, you've started a marshmallow battle! When you finish, you'll get ready to shape Annie's face! Amy is such a cute name! Sounds like Sammy, right? <laughs> For this step, we'll knead marzipan with powdered sugar and shape cute little face features. What a cute little sheep we've made! She's defo Amy! Hello, cannoli! The cupcakes are ready! Come! I really love our little Amy. Sam, where are you? Susie, I found the prettiest cupcake for Amy! Thanks! Let's start with the cold whipped cream. Smear it all over the top like this. Mmm, looks so yummy! After that, attach small marshmallow pieces from the broadest part to the center. Whoa! I can't wait to see the results, Sue! Amy, let's find you new friends! Mike, Bella, go find yourself a pretty meadow! Guys, we're switching to the second recipe. Sammy has been waiting for it. Woohoo! We're making cookie turtles! What do we have here? Flour, powdered sugar and eggs, vanilla extract, some oil, baking soda, and starch. And some butter, of course! Come on, Susie! When can we add some cocoa to this? In a moment, when the dough is kneaded, we'll divide it into two parts. Where is another piece going? I don't want to share! That piece is for the second part. Now let's make some choco turtle shells. I love chocolate! Guys, give a thumbs up if you do too! Let's pour some into our bowl! I like it too, but I also like coloring the dough. This piece is gonna be green. Sure! I totally forgot about that! And more, Susie! Here's a quick tip. Put on the glove so your fingers don't turn green. Let's start with one cute little turtle. Here are its limbs and a chocolate shell. The last one isn't ready yet. We should add some texture to it. You're right. Each turtle will have its own unique grid pattern on the shell. Guys, follow me and we'll see what you get. Now let's send our turtles outside. I mean to the oven. But don't forget to put all of the pieces together. Like this. The finishing touch is a couple of big chocolate eyes. Here we go! Go to the oven, my turtle army! I wish you would turn sweet and yummy! While the turtle cookies are baking, let's get to another famous animal helper. These are the future mice! 
First, we'll whisk some flour, baking powder, and salt. Then, into the mixer bowl, we'll put butter, vegetable shortening, sugar, and coloring. Which is blue, by the way. Let's mix them up! Susie, check this out! Choco Turtles came back! Oh, that one is so cute! Did you find a comfy plate for them? Yeah, it's tightly packed! There you go, buddy! Sammy, come back! The mice are waiting for you! I'm adding small parts of dry ingredients and mixing them into our batter. The main thing here, guys, is not to rush. Be patient and you'll get something really cool! Keep going, Susie! I'll make a video! And cut! Guys, Susie said that the dough should be cooled down in a fridge for three hours! Hail to Badaba! We can use a time lapse! Now let's shape the first mouse! We'll use a small scoop to portion the dough like this. What? A mouse like this wouldn't help Cinderella get to the ball. I guess we should just shape it a bit. See? Now it looks more like a mouse, right? Not till we attach these ears to its head. Good point. Here comes one. And another ear. Such a cutie! Don't forget about the eyes to look around and the nose to sniff in every corner. We'll bake them in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius and then we'll attach the wiggling tails! See you in 10, guys! Guys, the baking time has passed like a second, right? All of the tails are in their places, and now it feels a bit crowded here! Just a bit? Mice are everywhere! Give way! Ah, <sighs> finally I have time to enjoy myself! Mmm! Or I'm gonna be left without Oreos! Here, you can start opening these! Salty pretzels? I wanted to taste something sweet, you know! Well, of course! That's why we'll make a topping from milk chocolate! Swirl a magic tornado and it's melted! Woo! Attention pretzels! You're jumping into a chocolate swamp! <laughs> yeah, fellas, we need to drown you a bit! And from the other side, too! Now you can rest on the baking tray while we are finishing with the others. Passengers, we're heading to the freezer to cool down for five minutes! And I'm going to make a yellow topping for the Oreo bees. We'll use melted white chocolate and food coloring to get a nice bright color. Shimmer me cheddar! It looks so colorful and yummy! Sammy, you've brought a cookie! Great! Erm, you can already give it away. No, no! Thanks! Oh, I was hoping to get one first. When we're finished, you'll get plenty of those. That's a promise. Fly, small bee! Right to your chocolate wings! Whoosh! Perfect landing! Next Oreo bomb! Splash! Now coat it in chocolate! Easy peasy! Let's roll it a few times like this. And one more bee is ready! Control the landing. To the left. Yep! Perfect, Captain! Guys, check this out! We can make a few more. Try not to eat all of these by yourselves, though. Hey, that was aimed at me, right? Perspectives! Susie, we ran out of candy eyes! I think I know where they have all gone. <laughs> These candy eyes are for the bees only. Sorry, but I have to take the others too. I still have my goggles on! Actually, I don't see any bees here. Only some bugs! I have a solution. We'll just add some chocolate stripes on their backs. Just check this out, Sammy! Now all of them will have this heart-shaped blush! <laughs> I love all bees! You're amazing! My heart belongs to you! 
Anyway, stay alert! It turns out that the chocolate bees can also sting. I'm prepared for this! Keep them in the fridge for 30 minutes so they'll cool down! And after that, we'll visit our animal cookie kingdom again! Guys, today we're gonna make an unusual poppet cake! A cake and a poppet are the best things in the world, so why don't we mix them together? Oh, thanks for the spoon, Sammy! First, we need to mix all the dry ingredients in a bowl. Like this. Guys, give us a thumbs up if you like baking like we do! And feel free to ask an adult to join you! It's always fun cooking together! I agree, but I prefer eating alone! All the more for me! <laughs> Sue, is this a bowl for wet ingredients? Am I right? Ah! You scared me! It looked like the eggs were gonna fall right on my head! This is what you get for not sharing with your best friend, who always helps you with cooking! Oh, Sue, come on! I'm ready to give you anything! Even this sugar! What a coincidence! It looks exactly like the one I've prepared for this craft! Sammy, could you be so kind to put a pot with water on a cooker? Now we'll add some salt. Be careful not to add too much. Here's the water! But I don't remember us doing this in the previous cooking episodes. It's called a bain marie. We'll put the mixture on the pot with boiling water and start mixing it very well. But don't let it boil, guys. We just need to heat it up a bit until sugar is completely dissolved. Good macarons! Oh, hot! Sammy, are you okay? Guys, I strongly recommend to ask an adult to help you on this stage. The steam can be very hot. Well, our mixture is warm enough. We can move on to the mixer! Oh, I'm so happy you're all right, Sammy. But let me do this, okay? And that's it! Now we are going to add the dry mixture here, but only half of it. Test. Don't rush, Mr. I want all at once, but this I will take. Guys, try to mix the batter very slow, from the bottom to the top, so it will be airy and fluffy. You told me you'll show good culinary magic, and still nothing! Okay, you're gonna be surprised! Secretius Ingredius Superius! Whoa! It worked! Actually, it looks like batter. And smells like it too! Only buttery. So it seems your magic trick didn't work! Nope, it did! This is the secret ingredient that will make our batter consistency pretty cool. We've just added some melted butter and a bit of vanilla extract to the second part of our batter. Now, Sammy, could you please heat up the oven to 175 degrees Celsius? But be careful! Sure thing! This is the classic recipe for a chocolate cake. They say the classics are always the best, because there's nothing redundant here. No time to chat! The oven is ready! I guess he's in such a hurry because he wants to taste the cake as soon as possible! <laughs> of course I do! Who would say no to a cake? Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree! Let's see how many of us there are! In the meantime, I'll go put this into the oven for 50 minutes. But don't you go anywhere and you'll see the final result! Trust me, you'll be surprised! La 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 la… Sue, no! Shiver me, Jenners! What have you done? You've ruined the cake and we've tried so hard! Ah! Where is the template I asked you to prepare? Here it is! Sue, are you not listening? I promised our viewers they would be surprised! Um, what are you doing? We're gonna make a beautiful butterfly by cutting all excess. Guys, don't forget about safety! Huh? Or you'd better ask an adult to help! Interesting. Does it mean you don't need this anymore? I know what you want to ask, Sammy. Yes, you can eat it. And the crust, too. I cut it so the cake would be much moister. Hooray! 
And while he's distracted, let's make the frosting! Sam likes it very much, so there is a chance he'll eat everything up! But our cake can't do without it, so let's speed up! And it came out great! Since we're making a rainbow cake, we just need to… Great! Sue, don't take it personal. But I thought the colors would be brighter. Yeah, I know. But if you ask me, these shades will look awesome too. See for yourself! You're right! It looks good! I just remembered we've already made a unicorn rainbow cake and it was very bright! Ooh, I remember it too! It was so pretty! We've prepared so many cakes, guys! It's hard to list them all! I'll try! An imposter cake, a gigantic Oreo cake, an m ms cake, a jelly pond cake, and… and… Ugh, I can't! There are too many of them! Guys, have you watched those videos? Well, you know where to find them! Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new recipes! I think my favorite one is a slick slime Sam cake! It looked exactly like you, Sammy! <laughs> and this one is my favorite! Will you bake the same one for my birthday? <laughs> but you haven't tried it yet! A chocolate biscuit and creamy frosting? What could be better? I agree, Sammy. By the way, we're done! Now the great Tibetala I'm ready to eat! Here is my spoon! Oh no, Sammy, wait a second! It's not the time! Ah! We're getting to the finish line, guys! Stay tuned! This one goes here. Yeah. Right? Um, okay. Uh-huh. I see. Right. Sammy, what are you doing? You don't let me work on the cake! I had to check everything, so the examination showed that the cake is awesome, but it still has nothing to do with the puppet! Don't jump to conclusions, Mr. Smarty Pants! Tell me, what colors do our cake rainbow have? Ha! It's easy, Sue! Purple, blue, green, yellow, and pink like me! Awesome! Now everything's ready for making a perfect poppet! Somebody said a perfect poppet! Ooh, all over again! This lecture is about a perfect poppet! Here we go! By the mozzarella, I know something about perfect poppets! I have a PhD in this field! The first and one of the most important things is a shape! Plain round or square ones are boring! I'm all for unusual poppet shapes! He can speak like this for hours, trust me, guys! The second thing is bubbles! They should be nice to pop! I'm just working on the whole construction! And last but not least, the colors! It's just a matter of taste, of course, but the brighter the merrier! If I remember clearly, you didn't like these colors! Not at all! I just wanted to remind the guys of the unicorn cake, so they could watch the video one more time! Okay, okay, now I see! Now we can start assembling our cake! Sue, everybody knows I'm a master of decorations, but I haven't shown off my skills for ages! Go ahead, Sammy! I believe in you! Yay! Whoosh! Wow, such an awesome cake we have, guys! But there is still one thing missing. And what could it possibly be? The edges! Shiver me cheddars, how could I? But it's easy to fix! No, 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 Sammy! You've already done a great job! Let me take care of this! I'm so lucky to have such a great helper like Sammy! Frankly speaking, I've never seen a cake like this in my whole life! It's so beautiful! Yeah, I'm so excited to see the result! Hop! I'm glad it's the final touch! I have to say, Sue, now I'm gonna call you a master of cake making! It's just amazing! <laughs> Sammy, I'm really impressed! Thank you! Now let's take another look at our gorgeous cake in all its glory! And boop! Oh, I forgot it's not a real poppet! Again! Haha! 
Did you change your mind? Are we not gonna eat it? Of course we are! I like playing, but I like eating cakes more! Here we go! Be careful with the knife, guys! Looks like you're cutting the rainbow itself! Am I right? Wow! This piece looks awesome! 